Welcome to Echo Habs for Earth. We're getting our off-grid overland camper ready for another cool expedition up to the Appalachia Mountains. We're doing a round of really neat improvements, but today I'm gonna tell you about our new water tank. It's a repurposed tank we got off of a houseboat. It's gonna provide us with nice gravity-fed water back here in our cooking area. So we'll show you exactly how we configured it and what we're gonna use it for. We're back here in the kitchen area of our off-grid overland camper. And one of the things we wanted was an additional uh, water supply here for cooking and cleaning and maybe even drinking. We do have an 11 gallon hot water shower tank up here, but it's presently the only water tank that we have. So we picked up this freshwater uh, holding tank. It came off of a boat, uh, got it for a steal. We're gonna attach this cargo rack up here and the tank will sit right up there in this cargo rack. This will also provide us with some extra storage. We're excited about that. It came with an odd assortment of ports and we've, we've done our best to make best use of them all. So I decided that the air vent for filling will be here on the top. If you look up here on the top, I've drilled a hole. This was actually Nora's suggestion. And then that will allow air to escape while we're filling it and air to go in while it's draining. This is our filler line. I use washing machine hoses for our filler lines for both this tank and the shower tank. They're really handy. They're coated in metal, so they're, they're fairly indestructible. And they're good for traveling. And it, notice it provides you with a, a double female at each end. This will be the supply hose here. So we have a simple sort of a sprinkler hose that just screws right on there. And it has a snap-on water spigot. So this will be a gravity-fed system. Not like our pressurized shower, which is going to be run with a water pump. Okay, water line's up to here. I'm grateful that the fittings aren't leaking. Okay, now we have water at the top, so we just give this a quarter turn. We did it! We got another 12 gallons of water for the kitchen area. We can fill up our pots from here, our burkey. Right, we could wash dishes. We can even use it from inside when we don't want to get out in the morning and Jeff wants to make us coffee. Very handy. We're really excited about it. And we can have a mist in case we get overheated in Florida. <laughs> it kind of blew up. <laughs> yeah. I tightened this one. This was still on, I think. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> that would have been great on film. <laughs> We've been covered with water. 